Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to cloudy overcast Winnipeg. Looks like rain out there as I was talking to my neighbor about half an hour ago and uh, yeah didn't look too promising for bike riding. So that must mean that it's going to be good for model making right? <laughs> maybe maybe I'll actually get some videoing in. <laughs> Okay, yeah, as Tennessee Jim mentioned, he knows what the weather's like in Winnipeg as to the length of the video. <laughs> well, winter's coming. Yeah, winter's coming and we'll be back into this again in full swing. Now, uh, before I forget, okay, here we go. Hey Google. Set alarm for 1.55 p.m. this afternoon only. Okay. There, your alarm is set for 1.55 p.m. Okay, so why? <laughs> because at 2 o'clock my time, uh, Peter from Moscow Modeling is going to have his live show. And almost every time... I noticed that it's I noticed that the show is on just at the very end and about all I can do is peck in greetings from Winnipeg <laughs> but today uh, Jeff Donahue is going to be on there live with them and he, they're going to be probably talking a little bit about uh, Jim Steen's uh, uh, build oh by the way uh, Jim pronounced his last name Steen not Stein just just to let you know Hi, I'm Jim Steen. Hi, I'm Jim Steen. Uh, I noticed some of the creators were, were saying Stein, but uh, he actually pronounced it Steen. Now, I never actually uh, talked to Jim personally, but we communicated back and forth for the last three years uh, cyberly. And uh, <clears throat> uh, so uh, I, I kind of got to know him a little bit, and he kind of got to know me a little bit. Uh, I'm not I'm not doing the the buddy build you know on on his uh, the truck that that they're they're building and I think this is I think that's a wonderful thing but I, I sort of feel like I honored Jim when he was alive with my comments and so on on his videos uh, yeah but that's that's just that's just me every everybody's different uh, there's no right or wrong way to be nice to somebody as long as you're trying to be nice okay uh, <laughs> Maybe this didn't come out quite the way I meant for it to come out. It might have kind of maybe rubbed some people the wrong way, but I didn't mean it to. Uh, anyway, uh, this morning I glued the other three baskets uh, on, on uh, actually it was on the other side because I had tipped the ship this way. And when I was tipping the ship over this way, the little antenna uh, actually fell off the end here. And... Uh, <laughs> So I thought, well, I may as well leave it off now. But what I want to do this morning is I got a piece of foam here. And uh, just let me move this down. And what I want to do is, uh, I should be able to shove this down towards the end there without it falling off the end of the model table. Uh, the, model, the model table goes for several kilometers that way. You know, I'm trying to force myself to talk and think metric. Uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, in, in this motorcycle handbook that you have to learn all the stuff, it gives everything in metric, not, not in feet and inches. Like, like how, how many meters should it take for your bike to stop from 30 kilometers an hour? <laughs> you have to know stuff like that. How many centimeters can the handlebars be above the seat? <laughs> well... The answer to that, as far as I'm concerned, is, well, if you can't reach them anymore, they're too high. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, they want to know they want to know what the law is. And so I guess if I want to pass that test that I'm planning on writing, I better know all this stuff. So anyway, let's just, let's just move this down here a little bit. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut a little piece of, uh, it looks like maybe uh, three centimeters. <laughs> Cut about three centimeters off this and, and sort of wedge it down in between uh, the the edge of this and the bow. Uh, and remember, I, I, I actually remembered to say bow now instead of front. 
<laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. So that when I tip this up on its on its end, uh, so there's another thing here. I was kind of kind of curious about. Just let me carefully pull this back here. I have to watch what's going on at the far end. Okay, now when this when I tip this up. But the only place I can stand it, I don't think I can, I don't think I can stand it up here with, with the with the bow on the on the table. I th I think I'm going to have to uh, uh, have the bow down on the floor. Okay, so. Okay, the top of the table is, uh, I, oh, I almost, I almost did metri metric, I, I mean um, imperial here, I, I saw inches, I, I, what's the matter with me? Okay, it looks like, uh, oh, about 80, 83 centimeters, <laughs> that's the top of my table. Okay, so when this is on the floor, Okay, where is 83 centimeters going to come? Okay, that that means that this part here, when I'm when I'm working on it, is going to be below the table by about that much. But I think I can bend over that much. Uh, you know, I can't bend over enough to tie my shoes, but I, could, I should be able to bend down that far. Okay, uh, let let's stop being stupid here and. Uh, let, let's recompose. Uh, our sunrise was non-existent. Uh, there was no sunrise. Uh, maybe I'll... Did, did, did I remember to dub it in? <laughs> if I did, you'll have seen it. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. What, what's in this coffee this morning? My goodness. <laughs> I'm just uh, loaded for bear, as we say here in North America. <laughs> well, maybe not all of us say that, but uh, that's an old expression that I used to use. Okay, uh, what have I got going on here? I just got a little spot here. Oh, it was a piece of dust. <laughs> I was, I was kind of worried there for a minute. Okay, I thought I got a little bit of paint splattered on there, but yeah, I've got to go around over this thing and well, we'll do that after after the build is complete and get the noticeable dust off anyway. Once it gets inside the case behind the glass, it shouldn't get too terribly dusty. Although it's a it's amazing, you know. I've got a, a an old pendulum clock uh, hanging on the wall there, and uh, and I made the case. It's it's not really airtight, but I thought this is going to keep the dust off. But and it's closed all the time. But you should see the dust in the bottom of that case. Real, real fine powdery dust. Somehow it gets in there. I don't know how. Because there's, there's not any wind going on here much, except for maybe when my furnace is running. And, uh, yeah, my, my furnace is filtered, so I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> it's funny how that happens. All right. Uh, let's uh, recompose here and put a little piece of foam in. Okay, I'm wondering if I should take this out or leave it in. Now the whole idea of this is to protect this uh, uh, jack stand staff or whatever it is. And uh, I'm going to have to be really careful when I wedge the foam in. Um, I'm thinking now while I'm trying to work and it I can't talk and work at the same time. Now the, these things here, the, as the ship slides forward, it will s sort of wedge in between these two. And but I, uh, I don't think that will be enough. It it could slide. Um, anyway, let, let's just cut a little piece here. Uh, probably about. Uh, I'm just I'm just sort of eyeballing it here right now. So I'm going to just cut a, cut a little piece about where, where, my, where my finger is. I'm going to do that quickly off camera. 
And uh, Missy's been barking like that for about an hour now. There must be something going on just uh, south of the house here that she can hear that we can't hear. Because uh, she's really, uh, <laughs> really uh, concerned about something. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Okay, I think that should be pretty close. All right, let's reposition and try it. is just a little bit a little bit too thick here I can hear it sort of catching on something maybe I'm gonna just take this out momentarily I'll put it back afterwards maybe it's a little bit thinner this way oh I see what's happening I'm, I'm catching the the end of the gun here wondering what that was I heard. I'm going to just cut this down just just a tiny little bit here. Unless I was to, I wonder if I was to cut it into a sort of a V. Just hang on a second here. What happened to my piece of wood? Got to be so careful how I do cutting on uh, on camera because the the YouTube safety patrol will be very quick to tell me I'm not doing this safely. guns are uh, okay I'm going to have to shorten this just a little bit I suppose what's going to happen now is it's going to fall in yeah <laughs> okay what can I do about that I, all I want to do is just keep this whole thing from sliding forward. Am I maybe over-engineering here somehow? Let's, let's go this way. Okay, that will help. That will that will help. I uh, yeah, I'm not going to try it, but uh, that 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 will help. Okay, let's uh, reposition here and get this thing upended. Okay, we will zoom in here uh, once I actually start gluing the antenna back on. But I just want to give you perspective as to what's going on here. Okay, now... <clears throat> This is where we're going to find out if my piece of foam is in the right place. Now, I, I don't think that I don't think the ship is going to come flipping out of there. My plan is to keep it at well a little steeper than a 45 degree angle, so it's not going to fall out. Okay, now 
the the area in question is is right there so we're going to move right in so that we can look right here and uh, I think that it's, it's angled enough that the antenna is not going to slide back down the uh, well you'll see once we get moved in here okay now let's try not to kick this over Okay, time is marching on here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this safety hoop here and try and be very mindful of what I'm doing. I've got my CA glue ready, my applicator ready, and I'm going to be zooming in. Now when I zoom in, you've heard me say before, Trying to video something that is black or dark is, is really difficult. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this, this box and I'm going to set it right here. And the idea will be that when I zoom in to this little area, it, the, the white box should be the background and the black antenna thingy here now I, I, I got to concentrate on what I'm doing because I do not want to have to rebuild this. Okay, I think it I think it goes this way. In fact, I don't think it goes that way. I know it goes that way. Okay, I think right about now we should be zooming in, shouldn't we? All right, now can I hold this here and zoom in at the same time? Probably not. Or maybe we can. Okay, now let's try not to get this hand in, in the field of view here because this has to go on like this very gently. And you can see where the old connections were. I'm going to try and just get it right back in that exact same spot. Just like that. I think that's about it. Don't poke at it anymore now. You, you got it. Okay, now we're going to take our CA glue here. And uh, you know what, I've got the wrong glasses on. Just, just bear with me a second here. And it sounds like Missy's at it again. Okay. Now, I don't have my strongest ones on, but I've got... Uh, Okay, we're going to just try and get some CA on there, and we're just, I'll probably have to repaint this, but that's okay. Okay, that should go underneath where the, where the old connection was. I wonder, I wonder what it is that Missy's hearing. Because I checked my, my uh, surveillance monitor when she's barking, and she's, She's not looking at my door and barking like she wants another, you know, dog cookie or something. She, there's something going on south of here that, that she can hear and we can't hear it. Okay, uh, that's not quite straight. It's kind of... I'm just going to twist it just slightly here. I think that's somewhat better. Okay, let's let that cure. Okay, I think we did pretty good. Now, once again, if I can just not kick the model over, we're in business. I was just thinking, if I'm smart, I'll put this hoop back in right now before I start moving anything around. And trying to watch the hole and this at the same time. There. I wonder if I got it in the wrong way. That's even worse. 
Well, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna just shove it into the holes very carefully, of course. I think that's about it. Then we'll just bend it down. No, you know what? It, it doesn't want to fit that way. My goodness. How could something so simple get so complicated? Okay, let's just bend it down now. That's pretty good. Okay. You know what it looks like's happened? It looks like the ship has moved forward and the foam, I had it too high up and it looks like it's bending our flagpole back. Always something. I'm probably going to have to re-glue that. I hope, I hope it didn't break those little uh, 20 millimeter guns. Uh, I guess we'll soon know. Let's try and go very carefully here so as not to have the ship slide further forward. I think we're ready to go here. When you go to move this thing around is when you realize it's probably one of the largest model ships, at least kit-wise, that you can buy. I think the Iowa and the Missouri are the longest. I've mentioned this before. They're, the kit, the, the model, is actually longer than the Yamato. Uh, okay. Yep, it, it bent it back. Well, I'll put the macro lens on and we'll see if we can fix it. Okay, <clears throat> at the end of the last shot, when I was talking about the bent uh, uh, flagpole, I didn't realize that I actually had a bigger problem. And this is the bigger problem. So let, me, let me zoom you in. I'll take this off because I'm going to have to anyway. Yep, it broke our pulpit off. Well, that was not a good idea, I guess. This whole ship went forward a lot more than I thought it was going to. Okay, well, that, that shouldn't be too hard to glue back on. And as far as this goes, I don't know if it actually broke or if I was to put some put some uh, CA thin on the bottom there and then let it soak in just a little bit and then lean this straight. I, I, I don't know how bad the fracture is. I'll know once I start to fix it. But I guess the first thing I got to do is is glue this down. Try and get it back exactly where it was if I can. And uh, I won't be using CA because we'll be doing plastic on plastic, so I'll probably use extra thin. Uh, or maybe the Revell. That, that might be the way to go. Because there's no rush on getting it to cure. Anyway, that, that was not a good idea. What I should have done is had the, had the, uh, the foam fur further down, lower down, and then had a strap going around the, st the stern section, fastening it to, to this thing. And it's funny, I actually had thought of that. Hey, there's a ladder down there. Now, what, what did that break off of? Or, or was that a ladder that it, maybe I lost at some time, but it, it looks like it... You know, I do have a very faint recollection of dropping a ladder once and thinking, "Oh well, I'll just I'll just grab another one." Because uh, no, this this I can see where this ladder was glued onto something. I, I can see uh, I can see CA glue glinting there. I must have 
I don't know. I don't know if I did that uh, just just now this morning, or did that possibly happen a long time ago, and I just never noticed it before. Uh, okay, always something. Always something. Like uh, Ada Coke and Chris says, you sort of sometimes get the feel that you you're walking up a hill that is covered with shale. And I think uh, Ozzy Frenchman said, one step forward and. Uh, or the two steps forward and one step backwards <laughs> but you know as I keep saying um, this sort of makes for the fun you know it's, it's that's okay it's part of the part of the fun um, you know if, if everything just sort of fell into place well you may as well go out and buy one already made right um, <laughs> okay uh, just let me think about what I'm gonna do here I, I got a feeling I'm gonna wrap today's episode up uh, what do we got here yeah in just a little less than an hour my smartphone is going to start beeping and tell me to watch uh, Peter at Oscale Modeling's live show. I hope I don't forget now. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap her up here, and we'll 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 work on this in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>